What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to have a conversation with you guys, kind of take my idea that I have, throw it out into the internet and see if anyone agrees with me, see if I'm on the same brainwave as other people and chat it out in the comment section down below. But today I wanted to specifically talk about AI. So if you remember back in late 2022, during the end of the year, everybody was making their profile pictures based on AI art, which led to this whole boom in conversation around ChatGPT, OpenAI, and MidJourney, even professors coming out saying students are writing papers with ChatGPT. But there was also a controversy in the midst of all that, which was AI stealing other people's art, which is why I've titled the video, The Morality Issue Regarding AI. Because here's my opinion. I think artificial intelligence is an invaluable tool to creators, especially people who want to turn their creativity into creative entrepreneurship. In many ways, it levels the playing field for the people who can't afford to put the capital in to secure a graphic designer, a web artist, a copywriter, etc., and people who don't have those skills. And I think a lot of businesses, or I should say business ideas, have never came to fruition because people didn't have the money to start them. And I think AI is a great way to level that. But when it comes to AI art, there's a lot of people upset in the art community, and rightfully so, because AI is essentially taking a gallery of images, scanning them, and not producing its own art in some cases, it is in some cases, but in other cases, it's creating carbon copies of what other people have created. And that's the only issue I personally see. Here's where my thought process comes in. I feel that this conversation around AI art is more so a lot of artists being scared that they could be replaced, essentially. Because here's the thing. Let's say we take out the equation of AI art creating carbon copies. I still think people would have an issue with AI learning from their art and producing art in its own way. But my question to that is, what's the difference between AI doing something like that and then you and me as artists doing something like that? There's a line, regardless of how fine it may be, between imitation and emulation and straight up plagiarism. For example, when I started my wedding photography business, I know that I specifically loved one photographer's work. And so I tried to base all of my style around what they were doing. And as I grew and as time went on, I had other artists that I like and I took pieces from their style and other artists' style and it turned it into my own thing. And essentially I have a style that's a combination of what I liked about other people, some things I like about myself, and the things that I don't like at all that I don't do. And I think no one in this world of being an artist is original. I know a lot of us who are filmmakers will go to the movies, see a lighting situation that we like and try to emulate it to the point where we're actually trying to recreate these things in YouTube videos and tutorials. Are those people doing that plagiarizing? Is there something inherently wrong from that? Or is learning from another artist not a problem? But to the conversation too, we have to give it some type of acknowledgement here that artists do feel like they could be replaced by artificial intelligence We've been having this conversation for centuries around a lack of appreciation for arts. You have to ask yourself, is that really an ideal client that you would want? Do you want to work with somebody who does not appreciate art and wants a computer to do it all? We have people within the photography world who want everything to be photoshopped. That's personally not my style and I reject those clients. But there will always be people here who do appreciate the art of photography, i.e. people who book me to shoot their entire weddings on film. So I just want to know where do we feel that we should draw this line with respect to AI art? I feel like as long as we get the plagiarism aspect down, I don't think artificial intelligence generating art is an issue. As a matter of fact, I don't want the potential drawbacks of something that's really great and has an opportunity to help a lot of people be the only thing that we look at instead of how much this is going to help a lot of people. Even if we look at the morality issue within the sphere of academia and people having problems with AI writing papers for them, perhaps it's time that we stop teaching writing the same way we've been teaching writing all of these years and start testing for something different 
with the introduction of AI the same way professors started teaching something different when the calculator was introduced and they started testing for different things. It was more of a problem solving aspect instead of just getting the right answer. And perhaps maybe that's a false equivalency, hence why I'm making this video with you guys today. But that's simply my train of thought. I feel like as artists, we have to somewhat accept the fact that when we put stuff out on the internet, that other people are going to look at it and imitate it. If you remember, if you've been in the creative entrepreneur sphere for a while, you've seen that meme that's basically by Coco Chanel that says, if you want to be original, prepare to be copied. So those are my thoughts on AI. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I would love to hear it. Be sure to give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications. If you have not, be sure to follow me on social media. The links are in the description down below, as well as the YouTube fam. Their links are also in the description down below. My beautiful people, now more than ever, if you are ever feeling uninspired, uncreative, or just want to give up on life, remember, every day, airplanes take off against the wind. Keep climbing, stay inspired, and as always, stay fabulous. I'm Sydney. See you beautiful people next time. Peace out.